What would you do to someone who murdered members of your family, tortured your friends, and made your life extremely unbearable? When the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, conquered Mecca, he had the non-believers assembled before him. They were the very ones who for nearly two decades mocked, abused, tortured, and murdered his family members and friends. Do you know what he, peace and blessings be upon him, did to them now that they were completely helpless and at his disposal? He forgave them and freed them. Yes, you heard right. He forgave them and freed them. The very ones who had murdered and mutilated the body of his uncle. The very ones who were responsible for the murder of his daughter. The very ones who had tortured and mocked him and his friends and family. Freed and forgiven. If you find such incredible mercy hard to believe in, please go and educate yourself about the day known as the conquest of Makkah. This was the very nature of the Prophet Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him, a forgiving and merciful nature. And this example, the day of the conquest of Makkah, is only one of many, many similar examples from his blessed life. Today, it is very unfortunate that there are people who try to paint a twisted picture of the Prophet of Mercy, peace and blessings be upon him, due to their hatred born out of being brainwashed by an extremely manipulative media and biased books written by people full of hatred for Islam and Muslims. The fact of the matter is, there is no one in history more merciful than the Prophet of Mercy, Muhammad, peace and blessings be upon him.